Okay, you guys, I'm in Gabe's and I'm looking at a couple of their items here. They do have some really cute stuff I'm seeing so far. This is my first time coming, so I kind of feel almost lost a little bit. This is Junior's, the Junior section. I think this is really cute. Let's see what it's priced at. $12.99. Let's keep looking. They have like shorts and stuff I'm noticing too. I kind of don't even know where to start to be honest with you guys. There's like some different little black pants. These little green pants are cute. $12.99. Oh, and these are really cute. made my way over to the bags I do see nine West now I don't know if this is the real nine West I'm not sure but this bag is $19.99 I'm not even sure if it's authentic or not but it says it's $19.99 let's see what's on this other side This is a cute little weekend bag. $69. It's cute. They even have like sunglasses. some aviators they do have um, accessories as well and just to be honest with you I kind of feel overwhelmed because of their layout so I don't really know they do have some nice items these are really this is a really cute like statement earring for the summertime those are really pretty actually. They're $4.99. I was really expecting to find a little bit more items and better pieces at that but I'm not so I'm kind of just really trying to get familiar with the store because like I said it is my first time um, come into the store so I think what I'm gonna do is head over to the like house home decor and houseware items and just see what they have over there oh hold on one second there's some clearance items now I don't know how I feel about clearance makeup because I don't know how long it's been sitting but they do have like some cosmetic organizers for $3.50. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I don't know how I feel about like nail polishes and stuff that's been sitting for a while. Well, I don't know how long they've been sitting before they decided to put them on the clearance shelf. So I try to stay away from stuff like that. But I am gonna go check out some of the home decor. different little utensils for cooking they do have some 
nice items and I really do like these baskets. I'm thinking so that I could be a little more organized. I'm liking these baskets. These are really not always nice for storage in your bathroom. This is $4.99. Put like your towels in there. This is really nice actually. I did want a smaller wooden one for my bathroom, but I do like this one. It's $3.99 too. I don't know which one should I get. I did like the gray one though, but I don't think this inside linen would go with my bathroom look. So I'm gonna actually just keep kind of looking and not be so quick to pick. This is even really nice. I really like that sage green one. This is really nice. I wonder could I get away with that? Cause I have like seafoam green chocolate colors going on in my bathroom. I wish they had a different color. Just like that. Ooh, what is this brown one? This chocolate one. Too big. Never mind. Let's see, they have candles. Smells really good over here too. Oh, and I love these. Um, I actually have a candle warmer. Yeah, you can't even smell nothing. Cheap. That's cute. Let's look down this way. Have some really nice home decor. Pictures. It's really pretty. It's, those are really, always really cute to put like your rings. And little dainty earrings in there. This right here. We have comforter sets. I want to go and check out some of their um, footwear and see what they have over there. Number one, I've never been to this store. Two, I feel overwhelmed by their layout. Um, it's a big store, but everything is just like spread all out. So it's kind of hard to zone in on what you're looking for. All right, I'm an eight and a half. Oh, these are really cute little tinny shoes. They're 44. And then they have these really cute ones for 49. These are cute. These are how much are these again? 49, I think. So these are really cute. They have some gray ones. 
I'm not, I'm not really a fan of those ones. I like the black and white ones. Let's see. Yeah, those are pretty much it. That's all. These are more slip-on, which should be could be really cute with a um, dress. And I think this is just an eight, and this is definitely not my size, but I do um, see some plum-looking ones, which are really, really cute. And these are actually are my size. They're $49. These are plum, and then these are the fuchsia, both $49. Okay, so lighting is super tore up in here, but forgive me. My initial plan today was to go to Gabe's and try out this new store. And, you know, I heard that they had a lot of great items for low prices. And you guys know that I'm all about saving money. So I decided to go ahead and check this place out. And I will say that I feel that the place I'm sure that other locations are better because you always find that when you go to certain stores, certain locations just, they're terrible. This particular location, I don't want to just kind of talk down on it. I want to look at other locations and see if they have something better. But I will say that the location I went to, that it was a very big store and it almost confused me and um, initially overwhelmed me because of how the layout was. I feel like sh certain things should be displayed um, to draw attraction so that people will um, kind of have a sense of direction when they enter a store and I just feel like stuff was scattered all over the place. So um, I did see a couple of really nice items that I thought were very, very nice but then <laughs> Um, I don't know. It wasn't enough to make me want to actually spend my money for it. Just to be honest with you, uh, there were in the, in the shoe section, there were some Nikes and the Nikes were very, very nice in all different ranges of colors. Uh, the colors that I liked that I kind of geared toward more was the white and black pair of Nikes. And they were really nice. $49. <laughs> For a pair of Nike tennis shoes that's pretty doggone good and I did see a nine West bag for $19.99 and it was a pretty nice sized um, tote bag so um, yeah I, I don't know like I said I don't want to just kind of give them the thumbs down already so I want to kind of look at some other locations and just see if you know there are other locations out there that have better just a better look in general um so yeah i will definitely keep you guys posted if i find another one in my area but i think that's pretty much the closest one i probably have to go uh, a little further out to another um city to um, experience how their store actually looks but i'm sorry that the quality is really bad because the, there's really no lighting in the car and i'm trying to get this video out for you guys but i'm currently headed back home back well headed on my side of town and yeah now it's just figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner with my mom and dad they're acting up mom dad what y'all doing Y'all being sweet to each other? Of course we are. This truck is driving like you want to. People are always in a rush. It's Ma, uh -huh. what did you think about Gabby's? My thought was mm. it has some. Or it was, it's not Gabby's, it's Gabe's or yeah, whatever Gabe. it is. It had some eye catching things, but others were like, uh, no, no, nope. <laughs> um, Dad, what you think about Gabe's? It was all right. It yeah, was it's like, my store. It yeah. Was like keep of it. You yeah, know, it just, would, um, it's everything. I would incorporate into my shopping. And they didn't have mm -hmm. enough there to grab mm -hmm. it, you know. Yeah, they could do better with the layout, too. Yeah, maybe that would draw people, people more mm -hmm. to buy certain things and it's already a big store so by having all those clothes scattered out and really like, not having a yeah. sense of direction 
to you know what's what it's just Even it's too much area too mm -hmm. and i um also like the shoes they did have some nikes mm -hmm. but it looked like everybody tried on the nike so if i liked them i wouldn't gotcha. buy them because mm -hmm. it's like you can see that 10 really 20 30 to... people on <laughs> <laughs> She said 10, 20 people put their toes up in it. Yeah, they did yeah, have some. In different areas, it's, the quality is much better. Probably, and, they, and even display-wise. Uh -huh. And what they do, they survey the area to see what type of money is spent in that area. Mm -hmm. what type of people I think that's in why. Area, yeah. And that's the type of merchandise. And, and more merchandise, better merchandise in other different retail stores. Mm -hmm. To me. No, you say Kmart, Walmart. Oh, Kmart, Walmart. But then I'll say Walmart setup is a little bit better than that mm -hmm. store. So I'll say maybe Kmart. Mm hmm. Well, oh, my mom and dad agree with me. Yeah, it, like that. that store was a little bit of trash. I ain't even trying to be like mean. A, it was like it was that. trash. You know, but um, like I said, other locations might be better. So attractive. I'm always open to trying um, Gabe's at another location. But we've run into a little bit of traffic because uh, people, most of the time, it really isn't an accident going on the freeway. I never understand that. It's never an accident. And when you get up to see where it's at, like it's just clear, like instantly clears out. That really irritates me. All this driving slow and then sometimes it can be an accident, but they're pulled to the side of the road, but people just want to be nosy. So I'm trying to think of what I got a taste for. I think I want to have some type of like wrap, burrito wrap with like some cilantro, some black beans, some peppers. Like, I think that's what we're going to do. So we, um, once this clears out and we can get back to our side, we're probably going to go to the store and um, get some stuff to cook. Always my favorite thing to do on Saturday is cook. So if we do cook something, um, which I'm sure we will, I'll go ahead and include that in this vlog for you guys because, um, yeah, we love to eat around here. Who doesn't? Um, but, you know, we do incorporate a healthy lifestyle. Sometimes we have like our cheat days and our cheat meals, but for the most part, Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, we always are incorporating something healthy or eat, at least adding a vegetable to something that we eat. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign out and I'll sign back in once we either get to the store or once we're home. Okay, so back from the store and I wasn't playing, y'all. I said I wanted to make me some um, burritos. I'm actually going to help my mom make this because she makes, I mean, my mom, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased, but my mom is the best cook on the planet. But uh, that's why I'm really good, you know? So what I'm going to do is, uh, what we're going to do is we found these Mission Organic Flour Tortillas. Love them. They're so good. We're gonna put like um, black beans in there, probably like some grilled chicken. No, actually this is a kind of chicken mm. we're gonna put in there. Nice. This chicken breast, 100% natural and water. And also we'll mix like ground chicken. Got some ground chicken by Purdue in there. And probably add like some peppers and olives. It's gonna be really, really good. So you guys stay tuned because I'll probably show you guys how we are gonna make that. But right now we are definitely on the way home. Okay, you guys, so we're definitely back home and we're in the kitchen. Don't worry. Um, we're in the, my mom's gonna actually make the burritos this time and she has all the seasonings laid out, everything that's gonna go in. So I'm not gonna put my mom on camera or anything. You guys are just gonna see her hands as she makes the meal it's gonna be bomb so i'm ready to eat and it definitely doesn't take her long to do her get in the kitchen and do her thing so just stay tuned for the cooking part of this vlog so mom you have oil in here mm -hmm. okay what type of oil do we have in this pot that is i'm in this pan that is sunflower oil sunflower oil okay and then you guys we're going to be using ground chicken we always get the purdue ground chicken and then these are the seasonings we're going to be using 
uh, the the red pepper chili flake, and then um, some Himalayan pink salt, some garlic powder. Um, this here is Kanye pepper, um, dried oregano leaves, also basil. Oh, this is paprika. I'm sorry, y'all. Paprika. Thanks, Mom. And then this is some ground um, cumin. So those are the different seasonings my mom likes to put inside of the ground chicken. Put the um, onions in a skillet, and this is going to give the black beans some really great flavor. I'm just going to basically saute those babies on down. She's also going to sprinkle a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. What is that? Garlic powder? Yeah. Garlic powder. And some black pepper. So we have black beans and kidney beans that we're gonna be putting inside of this um, juicy, no. <laughs> we're gonna be putting with the um, oil, and is it um, sunflower oil? You said sunflower oil with the seasonings, the onions, and this is really gonna give these beans loaded amounts of flavor. So she likes to let this kind of cook down a little bit before she goes ahead and places the um, beans in there. So mom, how long do you normally let that cook before you start on the ground chicken? Um, I just let them cook long enough until they're tender. Okay, so we're gonna wait till these are tender and then we'll switch the beans out, still leave that flavor in, and then we'll go ahead and start to cook our ground chicken. So you guys just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so next we're going in with some organic free range chicken broth. We really, really love this chicken broth. It is low in sodium um, and it's great to just bring flavor, especially if you're, you know, say you're making a pot of beans. Um, it's really great in adding flavor to your meal. So we're going to go ahead and pour some of that chicken broth inside of those beans and give it some extra flavor, baby. So now the beans are ready because that was really the last step, just adding the chicken broth. We're gonna go ahead and transfer over the beans into this little glass container here and then we'll start our ground chicken. Okay, so now on to the ground chicken. My mom is gonna actually cut up some more onions. using two packs of ground chicken. Now she is cutting up some peppers. So we have sweet organic peppers and these are my favorite. We purchased these at Aldi. Yeah, Aldi, you can get a nice bag for a reasonable, reasonable price. I can't remember the price, but I think if you look at some of my other, well, my vlog of Aldi, the store, I think I mentioned these sweet peppers because we get them often. And I think I mentioned the price in there. I actually, I think I showed you guys what that price was. So yeah, back to this though, we are, um, my mom is just cutting up the peppers. 
she's going to add that into the mix as well. You can notice some of it is starting to brown. I'm sure everybody should know how to cook ground chicken. So. When it's brown, it's ready. When it's pink, it's raw. And we don't want raw meat because you can get sick. So another reason why you definitely want to go ahead and add your peppers is because you want it to give your meat flavor. It's all about flavor and you know the seasonings, the onions, the peppers, all of that is going to give your meat some flavor. So that is why we're cooking it this way. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look of the food. We have some fresh, freshly washed cilantro on top of the ground chicken. And then my mom also did mix a can of the um, chicken that I showed you guys a little bit earlier, the um, shredded chicken in with that ground chicken. And then here are the beans. So the, the beans are done. We have the organic tortillas. Um, that we put in the oven a little bit um, with some Earth Balance. We use this butter. Earth Balance butter is soy free, um, non GMO vegan, really good. You can get that at Walmart. And the cheese that we're going to use is this organic cheese. We have white cheddar and mozzarella. Okay, you guys, so since this video, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I'm going to make sure to insert some pictures of the finished product. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And if you like seeing these vlogs for me, go ahead and comment down below and just let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So my mom already put cheese on there and she's now um, putting the ground chicken on there. I'm just gonna show you guys one quick one how she makes her wraps. And also we did add um, olives, crushed a little bit of crushed olives to the ground chicken. And then we're adding the beans.